What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Now if you're new here, I'm Liam from Good Bloke Outdoors and we start this wild camp at the legendary Kirkstone Pass Inn. Now this boozer and B&B is over 500 years old and it's actually 1,481 foot above sea level. It's temporarily closed down at the moment because they're changing owners. And to be fair, it was half eight in the morning when I got there so it wasn't going to be open anyway. Now today's task was to bag six Wainwrights and the first one being Red Screes. And it is a bit of a scramble in part, so it's certainly a nice wake up call when you first get to Lake District. Half eight in the morning. We're nearly at the summit of Red Screes. I'd love to show you some epic views, but we're all clogged out, as you can see. Right, so we've bagged us first wearing right of the day, Red Screes, a steady climb. It's 776 metres, 2,546 foot. And now we're on our way to Little Heart Crag. So what goes up must come down. And then in Lake District, back up again. <laughs> Catch up with you soon. Now I'd made it to the second worm right of the day, Little Heart Crag, sitting at 637 metres or 2,090 foot. But I kind of regret not bringing my trekking poles to be able to use them to step across that. So if we just take a wider berth, jump straight across, happy days.
Right, so a little update now. So from Red Screes, we dropped way down and then went all the way back up again to Little Heart Crag. And then from Little Heart Crag, which isn't so little, I don't know why it's called Little Heart Crag, we're working all the way up this sort of scree surface up towards Dove Crag. So I just stopped to have a breather for 30 seconds or something. Beard's wet through because of all clag, proper clagged in. I'd say it's level 10 clag, Eric 10 clag. If I turn you around here, you know what I'm saying? My dead cat foot microphone is piss wet through, so I don't know what that's doing to the microphone. And by dead cat, I mean obviously the wind deflector thing, whatever it's called. The wind muff. Right, I'll catch up with you when I get up to the top of this dove crag. Now the next three to climb just got higher and higher and higher. I initially thought I'd got to the summit of dove crag because I seen like a big sort of trig point tower thing that someone had built. But I don't know what it was. I couldn't see out on map. And that definitely wasn't Dove Crag because I checked. I've made it somewhere, but I'm not sure. It's because it's in Dove Crag. Refreshing. <laughs> I think that's the top, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I am caught up with it, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's So I'm now at the summit of Fairfield. Hands are pretty nippy now. Visibility is very minimum. But this is the highest point of the day so far. As you can see, nothing. It's not the easiest path I've been down, if I'm, if I'm honest. But if you just take it steady, keep your hands close to the ground, or one hand close to the ground, then you're all good. So the wind has really calmed down now, but I just wish this clagger to go. Because Literally not seeing out. 
missing out on the views. But we're bagging Wayne Wright's and that's what I set out to do on this trip. Just heading my way down from Fairfield or Fairfield Peak, as you might want to call it, down towards Grisdale Tarn. And then I'm either going to camp down at Grisdale Tarn or I'm going to go up another summit to the top of Seat Sandal and see if we can get a camp up there a bit higher. But I'll see how I feel when I get down here. Well, 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 there it is. Grisdale Tarn. It's a big old boy, isn't it? Well, you'll better tell from here, but I didn't even notice it. I was just been looking at ground because of all this clag. Look at that over there. That is sun, my friend. Peeking through. You never know. Now that's what we came here to see. Them epic views. I think this is where I need to make a bit of an executive decision. I'm knackered, I know that much. But I've got down to Grisdale Tarn. I've now got the choice to camp down here Or, right up there, which you can't see because it's covered in clag and fog, is Seat Sandal and climb up there. But what I don't want is to get up there and then just be covered in fog all night. If it's going to clear, I'm happy to go up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the forecast, see what it's saying. I know, it, I know it's never perfectly right, but what else can we do? And then if not, we'll stay here. Grisdale Town. You'll know anywhere from title probably. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm gonna have a quick dinner break. Vegan falafel and hummus with chutney and mint dressing. I don't know about that. To be honest, there were two different wraps left and this were best at two, so. Just grabbed it last night after work. Yeah, do you know what? Risk it for a biscuit. Let's get up to the top of there. I need to bag that Wayne right anyway, so if I wasn't going up today, I'd be going up tomorrow. Right, let's get a move on, because it won't be too long until it starts getting dark. Yeah, this looks a bit sketchy on our first part. Light work.
ground at the top of Seat Sandal. And as expected, claggy, windy, pretty nippy. It's time to find somewhere to pitch a tent. Right, do you know what? That's going to have to do. Nice view at the valley down the middle. Grisdale Tarn. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. It's not the flattest of pictures, but there is a strip down one side where I know I'll be able to sleep nice and flat. I don't think we'll run out of water. Finally, sat down. We can get a warm drink on go. Right, all pitched up. Just getting warm geared on. Show about the clag. Clag. You clag. about time I got some food on here. Absolutely Marvin. So I've got another wayfarer meal. I might as well have shares in these. This one is the Korean style beef and rice. I've never had this one before. It is whole grain savoury rice with spicy beef and vegetables. That sounds pretty simple to me that. Sounds decent. Oh and to go with it Again, poppadoms. I love poppadoms, man. Mango and red chili chutney. And what snacks have I got? Snacks. It's weird that I bought these because I never actually eat M&Ms ever when I'm not camping. And then I bought them twice this month now. Why not? And I've got sweet cinnamon porridge. So I might have that as a bit of a pudding tonight. I've got a golden syrup one as well. So I'll have one tonight and one in the morning probably. Because I ain't got no pudding really, apart from that. Well, I've got chocolate on there. Oh, and rich can. Rich tea. 50p rich tea, 300g, euro shopper, can't go wrong that, bargain, 50p for that amount of scran there, 50p, that's what I'm talking about, right let's get this shit going, right, let's take a look at this then. It's all right, isn't it, that? It's not bad at all. What the fuck's 
ですが Long bit, of, long bit of string. Don't know how that's got in there, but who cares? Who cares? Yeah, that is spicy. Oh yeah, nice. I could have done with cooking it for a bit longer. It's warm, it's, it's hot enough, but it's not piping. It is at bottom, see steam coming out. And you can't, I can. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this from my Papa Doms, I reckon. Oh yeah. Whoa. That is hot at the bottom. I'll show you one. This is what I like to do. Load up these bad boys. I was doing the same with Kiri last week, last month, whenever it was. Let's load it up, mate. Load it up. Definitely one of the best bits about camping. Getting in all your warm gear. Getting tucked up in sleeping bag. Just kick back. Just relax. Nice bit of thinking time. Just chill. Especially after a long hike as well. Because you're just aching and not aching but you know what I mean. I'm aching, yeah, I don't know why I said not aching, I'm aching. Definitely aching. But, I'm happy with where I went today. Went on some pretty gnarly looking bloody screedy mountains. Even that seat, seat sandal, just over there. Not the easiest to climb up really. you got to remember, I think it was six months ago, the first time I ever went to Lake District or Peak District, anywhere. So I'm still, I'm still um, new to all this hiking malarkey and that. I just wing it, to be honest. Don't do up too crazy out of my comfort zone and that, but it's good to push yourself still. We've had a few little wind gusts getting a bit giddy with 10 but it should be crushed up there's no major on the forecast it's just going to be a relaxing night obviously there's a lot of tent time now it's what back end of November start of December I'm not sure when this video will be out but yeah it gets dark really early I think it was dark for probably four o'clock today if not earlier so you think what it'll get light about eight it's a long time in tent really well it's chilling man love it as long as you've got plenty of snacks warm drinks if I get too bored I've got stuff to watch on my phone so all good there's no signal around here though none at all so it's stuff that I've already pre-downloaded on iPlayer and whatnot. I'll just watch a bit of that a few documentaries just chill out probably going to get an early night to be fair set my alarm nice and early see if we get a sunrise you never know and then get packed up and leave no trace head off early all that good shit you know how it goes by now Head back to the car, which is about seven and a half miles away. 
in Kirkstone Pass in Car Park. Cush dear. So if there's no else to report, then I'm probably going to sign off here. And I'll see you a lot in the morning. Peace out. In a bitch. Oh, it's got a fucking rab, mate. Rab. Right, in a bit. I am back again. One second. Should see what I've had to do here. I've packed all my spare clothes and whatnot. Under under mat because I keep sliding off I'm on a sketchy hill here like a sideways hill so there's nothing I can do about it really and even if I like a bottom bit I'm nearly bloody tipping out of tent I don't want to tip tent over <laughs> right but that helps actually gives me a little prop prop up wrap up warm cinch all this up not even going to use the hood from the tent from the um, what's it called sleeping bag just going to use my down hood cinch up like that I think we're on just freezing outside on feels like because of wind I think it's about 4 degrees but on feels like it were Zero or it might have even been minus two or something. So it is cold. But as long as you've got the right gear, it's cushy. Uh, I'm going to watch some stuff for a bit. So for the second time, peace out. In a bit. Well, morning YouTube. Not the greatest sleep last night, to be honest. Once I was asleep, I was fine. And I wasn't cold one bit, but I just couldn't drop off. Do you know what I mean? Just one of them nights. Just couldn't fall asleep initially. But then as soon as I did, I couldn't love getting up. We're up now. The reason why I'm up so early is because I checked on my health app last night and I actually did 11 miles to get here. Which is more than I'm sure it was when I planned it on the map. But obviously... That's just on the health app on the iPhone to where the iPhone's moved. I probably did more than 11 miles because there's a lot of times when you put camera down, you know, to walk about and do your little walk-by shots and run back to the camera and all that sort of jazz. You know what I mean? So we won't be much of that this morning. It's just going to be a foot down. Try. Do it in good time. So I'm going to pack up now while it's still a bit dark. As soon as sun rises, then I'm going to be ready to head off. So I'll catch up with you soon anyway. I've looked outside and... You clegg. Yes, yes, all packed up now. As expected and as always, leave no trace. It's time to get moving. Rysdale Tarn, you've been a good one. There's been no sunset or no sunrise, but you can't have it all on every trip, can you? Clagged out while camping in the Lake District. 